just give you a quick look around our plow point uh, shelter here. Bags of room under there. It's up on this bipod. And because there's no tree this side, I've uh, hammered in this branch here just to guide it back down to the ground. That's just to pull it out and allow for a bit more room. Yeah. Bags of room. Should be pretty cosy. Well, here I am set up in my plow point. I've got my um, snug pack stratosphere hooped bivy. Not seen this one in a while, have you? <laughs> Can't remember last time I used it. I've used it in a woodland up on the cliff. Um, yeah, got it under here, so I might even have it open tonight. Um, and I can close it if it does rain and that. This tarp's pretty dirty from the last time I used it. Oh, that's because it's been wet and muddy. <laughs> yeah, so I've just got a ground sheet and that on top. Just need to put my um, mat and my sleeping bag and that in it and yeah just process some firewood now
Just thought I'd show you the fire lay. I've got a, a base there of oak, some broken down fat wood and some shavings. I found some old bracken from last season. Some first stage and second stage kindling plus some broken down stuff. And then we move on to the fuel. There we go. Gonna go with these first. Add some of this bracken. In our first stage. And as it's going well, go straight in with the second stage. Just wanted to give you an idea of where the fire is in relation to the tarp. It's outside of it and outside of the uh, bipod as well, but close enough to feel the benefit. pretty smoky so I've decided to put up a bit of a fire reflector try and keep that wind off of it stop it from blowing in the shelter I think that's helped a bit. It's not blowing straight into the shelter, it's going up a bit first, probably blowing around it. I think I deserve a beaver town. Cheers to all of you, hope you're keeping safe. Oak is such an amazing wood. It can be this kind of punky on the outside, but as soon as you start cutting through it, you can see rock hard, brilliant burner. If this punkiness is dry, it's just going to help it to catch anyway. Well, I don't think I've actually sort of said hello properly yet. <laughs> 
I'm all set up. It was quite a, a busy time. I was here filming last week's video. I'm assuming it'll be last week's video to you guys. I'm trying to get ahead of the game here because of everything that's going on at the moment. So who knows if I'd be able to get out or whatever. So you might be seeing this way after all these kind of lockdowns and everything. But uh, yeah, I I'd get ahead of the game. But uh, I'm all set up and I've never on camera done a plough point, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, different sort of camp. I've obviously used this bivvy um, probably about three times on camera, I think. Uh, I've used it other times. I've slept like a log in it and I've felt claustrophobic in it. So, <laughs> I guess it depends on my mood um, and how tired I am. I used it on um, Who Island when me and Tom got um, stranded and that was a day of hell. I've never been so tired and I just I just passed out in it basically and didn't wake up until the waves were lapping at the side <laughs> and had to move it. So uh, yeah, but because um, I've got the tarp up I can leave it open if I want to if I feel a bit claustrophobic. But you do have the mesh that you can unzip as well. Time to uh, slice these potatoes up, some kind of chip form. Don't have to be anything precise. Just going to take these and uh, boil them briefly before I fry them. go, stick that somewhere nice and warm, stick the lid on. Yes the hand always broke on this. <laughs> oh god I'm getting some smoke. <laughs> right, with the potatoes parboiled, I'm going to uh, Put this mini grill inside the zebra and hope, because I've not tested it, this fits. That's not bad. Right, I'm going to use a block of wood to try and wedge this uh, lid on. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to put the uh, bitty big Q on this side of the fire, just for frying my potatoes off. There's that. And plenty of oil as we're making chips. Time to add in our chips. It's time to take these chips off. And it should also be time to take out the whole grill. Looking pretty good. Fine chips. Well, a little bit of salt. And as it's me, it's got to have some ketchup as well. And this is chicken mushroom, if I remember rightly. Ooh. Nice and hot in there. Ooh. Check that out. I think I'm going to try a chip first in the meantime. Mm, crunchy and perfect. Let's try out this. It is hot and delicious. So I'm going to enjoy this.
Well, that was delicious. It's time for me to turn in for the night. It's looking pretty cosy in there. So uh, I don't know if you can see me or not. I'll see you all in the morning. Good night. Good morning all. Oh, it's a chilly one. Probably got down below zero last night, I think. So a bit of a drop in the temperature from what it's been lately, but um, that's fine. Uh, didn't actually feel very claustrophobic in the um, stratosphere. I left the zip open a little bit, um, which meant no condensation whatsoever, and uh, yeah, I think that helped a little. Um, I think something that goes towards that is the depth of the mat you're using. I've got quite a thick mat there, the Neo Air X um, Thermarest one, and that's quite deep, so it brings you closer to the top. So I think that's got something to do with it, but I slept like a log. <laughs> I woke up a couple of times, but really like a log. There was no rain or anything last night, so I didn't really get to try out the shelter so much. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, hungry. I want some breakfast. <laughs> I'm not going to get the fire going again. I've got something uh, new to use. I've got myself another bush box. <laughs> this one is not the XL like the other one. This is the LF, the standard size one. Uh, the XL is big for one person. It's brilliant stove, but it's big for one person. This is their new leather pouch. It has a pelt thing on it. It's really nice. And. Uh, my, my hands are freezing by the way, so this is going to be a bit tricky. Here we go, so you can see it's pretty small the way it packs down. And this is their new, um, I forgot exactly what they call it, multi-purpose case I think. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. So the whole stove packs into it, slides into it like that. This is the titanium version. Just pull out them. And then as with the other one, the ash pan just drops down, like so. And you can use this, or one of the uses, other than as the case, is a bit of a base. So if you're in a, a hazardous area, dry area or something, you can just use that and that's going to be that extra layer of protection. But uh, yeah, this is what I'm going to be using for my breakfast. Just putting some uh, fat wood inside here. Some of it went in. <laughs> And got some birch bark I collected yesterday.
Just let that take for a moment. Still have my tongs from the last uh, video. There's a hot spot in the middle there. Just the one egg today. It's the food off and I've got plenty of fuel left so I'll stick the kettle on. There we go. Lots of ketchup. It's not pretty, but it looks tasty.
Thanks guys for watching another video. Hope you enjoyed it. It was certainly a, a good night's rest and away from all the world's troubles. Oh, right. Well, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Camera.